Good to see you. All right, there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein. And uh, today, I had a kind of uh, challenge in front of me, and I wanted to see if I could actually do it. Um, and it was to build a setup here uh, in in a certain way to kind of run a uh, dodging effective uh, build setup here that we would have um, kind of as soon as we get focused we would be able to lash out and burst with some pretty heavy damage uh, coming from uh, coming from dark uh, at this point and so we will we will be attempting here with dark shout and dark impulse as dark impulse is a 30 percent multiplicative increase to your dark value and dark shout is a 50 percent increase to your uh, dark value um, and these two are multiplicative so it's uh, gonna be uh, where's my calculator? 1358, uh, 1358 times 1.3 times 1.5, uh, which would be 2648 for our dark value uh, once we get focused. And then um, Meteor Crush is a 3.6 multiplier to uh, times our um, dark value, so that'll get us uh, 9533 on, uh, on that shot. Um, as soon as we uh, use Meteor Crush. So this will be something uh, we'll, we'll be able to do, but we'll have uh, Cognitive Zeal go up a little bit more, so we'll probably have around 10,000 on Meteor Crush, uh, which is which is about a th um, about 1,000 damage per I-Core that uh, this thing costs. Um, but if you factor in Dark Shout, then it's going to be less than that, so uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Now the Blazing Claw here, we're just using this because it goes with the outfit and it looks cool. Um, if you were actually trying to go for the max damage out, uh, then you would want to go for the Crimson Longsword Fortified, but not everybody has access to this, so we're going to run with the Blazing Claw, as this is the second best sword for doing this uh, here with Tranquil Slice and Ranged Impact. We'll have around 14, 15,000 or so available to us uh, from these two, so we'll have to kind of pick and choose when we uh, when we go for uh, either the Meteor Crush or Tranquil Slice. Um, now, since we're running uh, dark here, uh, we'll have about um, we'll have about one or so uh, recovery on Icor every slash, uh, with some big Icor recovery on our final katana fourth slash com uh, in the combo. So we'll have to uh, keep an eye on that. So uh, we'll we'll run Louis here for some extra damage, and uh, we'll see how this build actually runs. Um, if we can dodge effectively and don't get hit, uh, basically anywhere because uh, that is what this is going to kind of be built on overall but uh, let's see how it let's see how it runs let's see how it bosses okay and let's see how we go for uh, backstab here and such okay so pretty pretty good there um, not uh, not horrible and not uh, insanely overpowered so that's uh, that's a good sign and if we do this okay you can see there that uh, that does pretty decent damage, but uh, nothing too incredible. And uh, we get a backstab to boot, so that's excellent. Okay, and uh, let's go for a single slice. Oops, we missed him. <laughs> we missed him with most of the uh, slashes there, uh, but that's okay. Uh, it'll uh, make up for it here. Okay, good job, Louie. Uh, it'll make up for it as we uh, run into the kind of boss sets here. Now, we only have Hasten. Not for extra damage or anything, but just because of the fact that we want to uh, have quick mobility uh, wherever we go. Okay, and we'll go for all the things here. Good. And we have... Um... Okay. Whoops. We almost killed him. <laughs> Louis. Louis pointing. Okay. Um, so we almost killed the guy in uh, one shot there, uh, which was which was pretty close. Now if we w now if we would have been running the. Um... The Crimson Longsword, uh, we would have uh, put him down because of the uh, damage difference. So kind of keep that in mind as we go forward here. Uh, but we do need to uh, dodge here and there uh, when possible. Oops, okay. Couldn't uh, get him there. And uh, we'll, we'll try and dodge uh, where possible, but uh, no no guarantees, right? Now 9, nine I-Core on a backstab is pretty good overall. Let's see how we do here on this fella. Pretty good, and uh, that does that does an, an okay amount of damage overall. Uh, so that's uh, definitely worth it to keep that in mind. Good, and we'll put him down. And it gives me an excuse also to use the blazing claw, as this is not a uh, very 
uh, commonly used um, commonly used sword, uh, just because of the fact that it does fire damage. Do it's kind of uh, hampered by uh, the fact that you're having to go against um, fire fire only guys. Okay, and again, we're getting uh, smacked around by the meatballs here. Oh come on! <laughs> Thanks, Louis. Uh, and uh, that is the. Whoa, that was some weird uh, uh, sh shaking there. Was going on, but uh, okay, we <laughs> we we can do it now. Uh, doing the um, doing the boreal brutes is going to be horrible, so we'll see if we can even get through them. But uh, but running this set, you actually have to dodge um, exceptionally well. Um, in order to actually make it uh, useful and uh, when you're going against uh, you know many enemies all at once where you have to dodge uh, several directions um, it becomes uh, very difficult overall so let's see here uh, how we do and uh, when you have to kind of uh, get rid of enemies uh, kind of back to back and uh, it becomes even harder um, just because of the fact that you have to uh, manage so many different things all at once. Okay. But again, if you can uh, actually make it work, um, there is plenty of damage that you can put out. It's just you have to really pay attention to your dodges because that is where um, the majority of your uh, set is going to come from. And you can see there that uh, we didn't even um, go for a dodge. And... Uh, so most of the time, uh, the uh, focus is not going to uh, make too much of a difference. Now for um, for these uh, for these boreal brutes, if we can actually get enough dodging, then uh, we should be okay overall. But uh, there's really, really, really no guarantee uh, at all. But uh, at least we have fire damage for these guys. Okay, let's go for this. And uh, let's see uh, what we can do here. Okay. And uh, can I get a backstab for him? I sure can. But you can see that we have plenty, plenty, plenty of i -core recovery overall. Okay. And uh, we can go for another um, uh, tranquil slice here. Good. So you can see that if you're getting hit, uh, it, you kind of lose out on that 30% increase from your uh, beautiful uh, Dark Impulse, but um, at the same time, uh, if you can put the guys down quicker, then uh, it absolutely doesn't matter, well right? So uh, kind of keep Thanks. that in mind too. Okay, and Hasten again is just for um, no other reason than just to give you quick mobility. Um, so you can have, uh, have that, uh, fast speed wherever you're going. Okay. Good. And the Blazing Claw, uh, th the only reason that it's actually pretty good here is because of that, uh, beautiful 20% increase in your, uh, fire damage that you're getting. Um, and so since, uh, all these guys are weak to fire, it, uh, it makes a lot of sense to go for, um, the Blazing Claw in the, uh, in the uh, ice area here. Okay, let's uh, let him do a thing there. So, so there you saw we dodged and we got uh, half of our focus bar filled, which is great. Okay. Okay, good. And uh, Louis uh, getting bounced around over there, so that's okay. We should be okay here. Good. And uh, as long as that guy just keeps on Louie there, we should be okay. Oops. <laughs> for, the, for exactly that reason. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, come on. Louie, come on. <laughs> Louie's just standing there taking the icicles. Oh, man. Okay, well, that was unfortunate there, so a death to the first guy, a death to the third set, guys, and uh, we'll see just how it goes here, because as you see, we do have enough um, damage overall to actually take these guys down. Um, it's just if we're actually able to take on two of them uh, at the same time, and as we've seen, these guys uh, 
uh, be horrible to us in the past. Um, it's kind of interesting to see, uh, you know, the uh, different builds and stuff uh, take on uh, different personalities here as you um, go with the uh, different sets and everything to uh, engage these fellas. So hopefully we can uh, get through it here. Okay, yeah, Louis, as long as you uh, distract one of them, uh, we should be okay. So there's no guarantee. So let's uh, head over here and try and get our haze back. Okay. And uh, Twinkle Toes here is uh, all about it. Hey, we we got him. Yeah, go for it, Louis. Okay. Oh, Louis's dead. That's really bad. Here come the uh, icicles. There we go. He's gonna dodge. Okay, I'll dodge. Good. Oh boy, here they come. Okay, now uh, can I do two of them at once here? That is the question. Okay, and you can see there the uh, dodges are uh, on point at this point. Oh, except for getting slammed in the face. Oh man. Well, these two, um, but but uh, we do have pretty good damage that we can put out, and because they have. Uh, because they have 0% slash resist, uh, this actually does pretty well. And because we're doing uh, pure fire out on uh, our our weapon, we're able to, uh, you know, really put them into, uh, into uh, a hurt state fairly quick just because of the fact that uh, we always are doing the things they're weakest to. But uh, the other problem comes in from the fact that uh, we don't have really any resistance um, to basically anything uh, they're doing. <laughs> so that is where the uh, downfall in this comes, is that uh, you really have to play 100% perfect uh, basically the entire time. Otherwise, um, you just uh, don't stand a chance in any way. Okay. Nope. Okay, let's go help Louie out. Ouch. Ouch. Let's help myself out. Ouch. Okay. Wow, these guys are super angry. As long as they're not rolling, I'm okay. Oh, I'm dead. Thanks, Lou. Oh. Okay. Oh, can't launch him. Oh, ouch. Okay, Louis dead. Okay, <laughs> this is not a uh, good uh, idea here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> it's just almost impossible to do uh, both of these guys with a uh, one-handed sword here and not a uh, bayonet. <laughs> So you can just shoot them and get done with it quickly. Um, okay, and uh, Louis pretty awful here because he absolutely does nothing. Uh, he has basically zero health versus these guys, and all he does is uh, dodge and uh, distract them from uh, anything. So uh, hopefully we can uh, get through these guys. And this is why this uh, this set here, these two guys, are such a good um, test of how good a uh, build is. Uh, is because they do not allow any kind of uh, any kind of uh, reprieve of any kind from any kind of uh, pressure that they put on you because it is constant, constant, constant pressure and stamina management from beginning to end. Uh, and if you can't get the backstabs effectively, then uh, you're just absolutely posed in how effective you can be. Okay. No pick up. Okay. Now if we can spread the field here enough, uh, we can keep them separated. Okay. Okay, good. And as long as... See, now why is that guy coming over here and ignoring Louis? I have no idea. Oh, good grief. And, and, okay, okay. Uh, and they both went after me, what, for whatever reason. Uh, these guys, I just tell you what, um... They just give always, always, always give me problems uh, when when I have a non-ideal build. 
um, just because of the fact that uh, they are awful. Uh, but uh, we'll we'll make it through, um, just because of the fact that uh, uh, I I know we have the damage, uh, we have the ability to, and uh, we have um, we have everything we need. Uh, it's just uh, actually executing, and uh, Louis is not doing us any favors here either, because uh, again he's one of the weakest uh, companions we could go for. But you can see how our blood veil is uh, very very good for Icor recovery and uh, everything else that we need it to for dark value and such. We just have uh, literally zero defenses versus these guys as they uh, hit us like once or twice and we're pretty much gone. Okay, let's uh, go for this fella. And if I could get a backstab every now and then that would be great. Okay, like now would be a great backstab. There we go. And why is he throwing that at me? I couldn't tell you. Um, okay, he got his ice armor. And he's probably going to roll over here. Yep, for some unknown reason. And why is he doing that again? Who knows? And you see there we get about... We get a huge amount of damage overall. Okay. Oops. And, uh... Everybody's spinning. Okay, where's this guy? There we go. Now, this won't do a whole lot of damage, but it's at least, um... Oh, I need to uh, hit him. Whoops. Okay. And that is where um, the uh, ability here comes in, is that uh, we're able to um, knock off his armor, which is great. As you can see there. Okay. Um, and then we will go for Tranquil Slice here. Because it's excellent. Okay. And he's uh, exiting the arena, it looks like. <laughs> okay. And then we will uh, go for another um, Meteor Crush. And uh, we will go ahead and win this time, actually. So, yay, lucky us. Okay, that was a pain uh, in in the worst way there. Uh, let's just go ahead and warp back, and then we'll finish up here in the Silent Light. Now, um, that is why I, I do... Uh, I still believe in this build, because it actually does have the damage. I just don't uh, um, have good uh, feelings of my, um, of my actual gameplay. <laughs> Uh, but uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good setup overall, but you can see that we're, we're missing out a lot on our ability to, uh, get our, um, to get our focus gauge going because we need, um, all we need all the time is uh, um, dodging, and if we're not able to dodge the enemy, uh, we're, we're not uh, getting access to that beautiful 30% increase on our uh, dark value. So we've got the invasion here, and this will be another good test. Uh, for what we have running, um, as uh, you know, you know, you need to uh, kind of check everything all the time. Now, for the small guys, it's great that uh, this knocks down, uh, and that is excellent. Okay, and you see there, we we took one hit and uh, we basically died. So that's why uh, that's why this has a lot of uh, problem here. Is just the fact that, uh, ouch. We, we don't really have oh, any any uh, vitality here for anything we're doing. Okay, good. And uh, let's, uh, whoops, whoops, we're dead. Louis, come on, there we go. Okay, let's launch this fella. Okay, good. And now we are focused, so let's, oh, and we're dead as well. Oh uh, man, I was gonna say let's let's go for a uh, um, a meteor crush while we're focused, so we can see the damage output on that. Uh, but uh, the uh, other lost axe guy had uh, other plans, so uh, really unfortunate. But uh, but that is where um, this this entire setup uh, really really does shine is the fact that you have um, some some pretty good damage overall. Um, oh. Guy's explosion was very large. Louis dead. Oh, Louis not dead. Wow. Okay. 
but you can see that uh, on just the basic lost uh, we do have um, pretty decent damage overall um, because the blazing claw is a uh, is a pretty good sword overall and uh, we can make really good use of it here uh, with this setup that's really nice okay let's definitely go for a meteor crush on this guy okay now we are focused but we don't have any uh, i core here to uh, get a um, meteor crush going so we'll uh, do do that and uh, we'll hit this guy. So you can see there, 12,000. That's really good damage overall. Why are we getting two of these guys at once all the time? That's interesting. Um, okay, but I'll take it. Okay, good. And uh, we're still getting two of these guys at once. I've not uh, seen them do that before. That's interesting. Oops. Okay. Okay. Uh, very odd uh, turn of events here that I uh, qu don't quite understand, um, but that's okay. And uh, you can see that, uh, I mean, we can l literally just uh, run, run through enemies if we're given um, the correct spacing, we're given the correct amount of damage at each time that we... We need to go for it, and uh, if we can dodge effectively, somehow he hit me from behind. And uh, we can actually make use of the Blazing Claws' um, uh, regular heavy attacks and charge and charge attacks if we uh, so need a charge attack. But uh, we're definitely able to put out what we need when we need it here. So it's very, very good. Okay, so we'll go for a couple things here to make sure that we have uh, what we need for the fight and uh, we'll need just one backstab and we should be okay okay and uh, this guy will maybe be a good candidate and you can see there that you know just as soon as you get touched by anybody um, it uh, you absolutely just get wrecked by anything uh, and that is really 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 the problem that we have going here is that we are um, you know ultra squishy but uh, we can we can kind of put out the damage where possible um, and uh, and if we wanted to go for more focus based stuff um, we could go for uh, a little bit of a of a different spin on this set but uh, it wouldn't be um, really in our best interest at this point um, to go for something like that now if we so want to uh, get get a real partner here I would probably want to go for white Neo. Um, and then, uh, let's see, probably get rid of this and go for a Blood Awakening. Um, okay, and then this. Okay, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll go for Nicola here, and this will be uh, definitely definitely different um, of a different of a of an attack that I've ever done before. So uh, we'll see how it goes here. Thanks, Mia. And now we have uh, crazy, stupid, fast amounts of uh, gifting here, which will be definitely intriguing uh, nonetheless here. Okay, where's Meteor Crush? Let's go for this, and this, and sure, we'll go for this. Okay. 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 Okay, we're gonna have to, uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> I was out of stamina there, that was unfortunate. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, that was definitely uh, one of the weirder sets, uh, for sure. Focused, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not unfortunate, but uh, uh, we lost out on our um, dark impulse there. 
but our um, oh okay but our uh, abilities here to dodge are uh, not completely worthless but uh, there were completely worthless oh, okay and uh, let's go for this oh boy we're dead <laughs> oh man so yeah the i core recovery is uh, kind of a problem here with uh, with bossing, hey, but okay? uh, but it's actually a lot of fun to see if you can actually um, put out enough damage there at the beginning um, to actually make it worthwhile. But uh, we'll Maybe see we here uh, if we can uh, get it going because uh, it it really is an interesting uh, set of there. builds here uh, that this thing actually goes for. So we'll see uh, how how we do. One and uh, two, good, and that's good enough, I guess, for now, and this, good. And uh, it's definitely intriguing to uh, see how, how it goes um, when, you, uh, when you're able to uh, do different things uh, and how, how the builds go. Okay, and uh, if we can dodge uh, each of these um, moves effectively here, uh, we should be okay. And let's go for uh, this, because it will put him into stagger state, which is great. Okay, now we definitely need our stamina back. Okay. Okay, let's go for this, so we uh, stagger him a little bit. Okay, we'll definitely need to uh, do some uh, dodging here. And that's where the Blazing Claw uh, comes in handy, is the, uh, is the uh, dodging, or the uh, uh, dagger ability here on Nikola with that uh, heavy attack. Okay. Okay. And maybe we can put him, uh, it, put him down in here, into a stagger state. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Cool. And uh, maybe meteor crush to finish him off. Okay. So pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool set. Pretty cool build. Um, I definitely, uh, I definitely enjoy it. Um, I don't think this is a uh, do it all kind of build where you can play it anywhere and everywhere. Um, but it definitely does have um, enough power to uh do to do different things and if we were going for um something like the uh something like the uh, queen's knight or something like that in those areas as those enemies uh, uh resist fire a little bit um it would definitely be intriguing to see um how how it goes uh in somewhere like the the memories and stuff uh we won't be doing that but uh some, somewhere like that it would be definitely intriguing so queen's claw here with the blazing Checking claw and uh uh, if you can dodge effectively every enemy and get that 30% increase from Dark Impulse uh, and the and and Dark Shout uh, active at the same time, and then go for a Meteor Crush, that'll cost you 14 I Core. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that you're uh, running Blood Sucking Blades all the time in order to make sure that you have uh, the highest amount of I Core recovery possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure here into uh, into uh, making making this kind of set here. Uh, it was definitely a lot of fun. So uh, we'll see you guys in another one. And I've got another uh, viewer request uh, that we got to do as well. So uh, tomorrow we'll be investigating uh, that build as well. So we'll see you guys then.